Ukrainian figure skaters refused to congratulate Georgian ones at the awarding ceremony. Georgian pair Anastasia Mitokina and Luka Baralava won the Junior Grand Prix in Budapest, while Ukrainians Violeta Sereva and Ivan Kopta came second. Mitokina and Baralava approached the silver medalists at the awards ceremony, but Sereva and Kopta did not react. Mitokina has been competing for Georgia since 2020, Baralava since 2019. The pair train in Russia with Pavel Slyasarenko. One of the main impressions from the distribution of skaters to the stages of the Russian Grand Prix is the delayed start of Kamila Valiva. The country's best figure skater in recent years will take to the competition ice for the first time only in early November. This break lasts for two months, and a lot of hopes are invested in it. In an interview with the press service of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, published after the first day of test skating, there is one interesting point. After finishing all her performances at the Beijing Olympics in early 2022, after the free skating program, Camilla said, it seems like God is testing me. This statement almost hints that after a successful start to her career from 2020 to 2022, Valiva has faced some challenges to stay in and involved in her favorite sport. Of the Beijing 2022 Olympic trio, only Camilla remains, and understandably so. Trusova and Skurbakova started competing in international adult tournaments a few years earlier than Valiva. The main thing that awaits Camilla in the near future is the hearing of the Court of Arbitration for Sport on her doping case. This will be a chance for the figure skater to get rid of a heavy burden. WADA is only determined to make accusations against her. There have been many cases when this organization, despite its anti-doping claims, has damaged the careers of Russian athletes. The arbitrators of the Court of Arbitration for Sport should finally put an end to this long-running dispute, which is now in its second year. Doping cases don't usually take this long to resolve. However, there is no indication in the court's official documents of the exact date of the ruling. This question remains open, although usually after the publication of various preliminary statements, a date is set for the announcement of the decision of the Court of Arbitration for Sport in a particular case. This means that Camilla will be able to resume her training after several days of ordeal. In addition, she will participate in the session remotely. It is important to note that the U.S. national team will not be allowed to attend the closed session at all. After the Russian national team's test rides, Camilla Valiva refused to answer journalists' questions about her future. This is quite understandable. In crystal words are spoken carefully, they are always backed up by actions. Any statement can be used against her. Therefore, in the case of Camilla Valiva, her silence before the start of the court session is real gold. Figure skater Tazia Proskuryakova said that she will no longer use a fragment of the song Sine performed by Rammstein in the musical accompaniment of her short program. This decision was made by the coaching staff. On Saturday, September 23, Proskuryakova performed a short program at the I.Y. Raber Memorial in Moscow, with the musical accompaniment of which was the composition Sine performed by the German band Rammstein. However, Later the figure skater said that she would no longer perform the program to this music. Why did they decide to abandon the composition? The decision of the coaching staff, Match TV quoted Proskuryakova as saying. Earlier, vice champion of Russia Peter Gumenik was banned from performing a short program to the song Sine by the band Rammstein and at the control roles the skater was forced to perform with last year's production. As it turned out later, Gumenik was banned from skating to Rammstein just before he left for Moscow, citing a certain letter sent to the Russian Ministry of Sports and Winter Sports Federations. And here is how the figure skater's coach commented, I will leave this question without comment. This topic is already very much discussed lately, I do not think it is necessary to comment on it. We will make a certain decision, which will be the right one, said coach Victoria Baeva. Tatiana Tarasova answered the question whether Tutberids can be called the best coach. This is the first center in Russia to be named after a coach. Does Tutberids deserve such a thing? She had the best results in women's single skating for several years. Indeed, 
she brought up very good girls who won all over the world. I hope that with the new center a Terry will find and train even more world-class skaters. I think she will feel comfortable working there with her team together with Saryosha Dudikov and Daniil Glashengos. Can you call a Terry Tutbirds the best specialist in Russia now? You have to earn the title of the best every year. She has a good coaching career, there are Olympic champions. But to be the best, you need to be the best every year, said the honored coach of the USSR. Mark Kondratyuk thanked the audience for the support at the control rolls. A week ago the control rentals were completed. Happy to come back with new strength and motivation. Thank you very much to my coaching staff Sokolovskaya team for the preparation, to the spectators for the pleasant support and many warm words about my new programs that are said in person or written on the internet, and also to the Figure Skating Federation for the wonderful organization. And we are preparing for Omsk and Moscow, see you at these stages. He who conquers the darkness brings light, wrote the figure skater in his telegram channel. Renat Leyeshev said that the Krustalny Ice Palace will continue its work. On September 22, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin announced the completion of the construction of the Atari Tutbirds Figure Skating Center in the southwest of the capital. After the construction of the new Figure Skating Center Krustalny will not lose its functionality. It will remain as an additional rink, a training base at the academy. We will not say goodbye to Krustalny. Ateri Georgievna has earned such honor and respect with her work. After the appearance of such a center, the efficiency of all figure skating in Moscow will be higher. In the southwest district, where there are always a lot of children, now there is an incredible center where children can go without wasting time on the road to somewhere in the center. Of course, this center will contribute to the increase of professional figure skaters, including under the guidance of Ateri Georgievna. Many thanks to the Moscow government and Sergei Semenovich Sobyanin for such an incredible new figure skating complex, said the president of the Samba 70 Center for Sports and Education.